this is part two. Okay, so if you haven't watched the first video of me doing my makeup, click down in the bottom link because I'll leave it right there in the bottom bar. I'll put a link to that video. But in this video, I'm going to be doing my hair, as you can see. I think everyone on YouTube right now is doing like these little milk braids. Are they called milkmaid braids? I think that's what it's called. But, um, a lot of people that you see doing it on YouTube have long hair, but my hair, I don't think my hair is long. My hair is like past my shoulders, but it's not long enough to like rope your hair around all the way. So I'm going to show you how to do it with short hair. Basically all you do is you just start the, the twist up here. Like I don't do braids, I, I did the twist version of it. And you know most girls do the two pigtails way on the bottom and they rope it around. If you have shorter hair, start it higher up so then the hair can cross, you know. And so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, like I said in my previous video, I want to apologize about the lighting in this video because the sun is rising, so it's messing with my studio lights because they keep adjusting or whatever. Or my camera keeps adjusting to all the lights. I guess that's what it's doing. I don't know. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing a voiceover. Yeah, I am going to do a voiceover because I wasn't talking. I was actually playing music um, during the video. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, let's get started. So my hair was in a bun, so I'm, what I'm gonna do now is just obviously take it out. <laughs> and I've been wearing my hair like this for like a week now. I've been straightening my hair in like two weeks and now it is itching, oh my God. <laughs> but I'll be washing it tonight. And I'm trying to decide which side I want my part to be on. I guess I'll do it. I guess I'll put the part on my left side because this is what I'm going to use as my bang. So now I'm just sectioning off what I want to have out. Just make sure I detangle very well and I'm just pulling it back to see how it's going to look and now I'm going to twist it up out of the way. Now I'm going to take my pinky and I'm going to make a part going right down the middle. I don't want to use a comb for this part because I don't want the part to be so defined like how it is in the front of my hair. So I just did that and I'm just going to pin out one side out of the way and I'm going to work on the right side. Just make sure you detangle and since my hair is shorter than what most girls who do this hairstyle, I have to bring my little pigtail up higher. Most girls will put the pigtail below their ear like really low, but I'm going to do it high. Then we're just going to quickly do a little twisty twist there. And then we are going to secure it with an elastic. I couldn't find my little small ones. So I have to use that big old thing. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Once you're done there, just twist a little bit more. And then we're going to bring one twist over to the other side. And if you want to braid your hair instead, you're more than welcome to do that. I like to twist because you can fluff it up and have it a little full if you like. And then you just want to pin each side like I did there. Now we're going to take the bangs down. And my bangs are very, very long, so I'm not going to leave them in the front of my face like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little swoop behind the ear. And I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin. Now I have this little tail. And I'm going to secure that going up into the twist. Now I'm just using some extra bobby pins just to bring the, the twist a little forward. You know, try to make it real cute. Now we're going to take our toothbrush, not the one you put in your mouth, but the one that I use only for my hair. And we're just going to bring the little baby hairs out. You know, try to frame the face. Make it look like a little kindergartner. <laughs> And now we are all done. It's so quick and easy. It does look like a little girl hairstyle, but I don't mind. I got a lot of compliments on it today. I love it. And here's it from the back. And there it is from the top. It's real easy to do, especially when your hair is dirty and you need to wash it, but you don't feel like doing that, girlfriend. Just go ahead and do this hairstyle. So thank you so much for watching. Bye.